Hi beautiful, welcome to my channel and welcome to another five looks one palette video. The palette that we're going to be creating five looks for today is this one right here. This is the Pat McGrath Moonlit Seduction Mothership number 10 palette. I'm sorry that it's taken over a week to finally upload this video but if you guys follow me on Instagram you know I've been moving for the past week. It's been very stressful and we are finally back with some videos. I tried to do five looks that were distinct enough, that were different enough, and of course I used every single shade that this palette has right here. If you're interested in buying the palette, by the way, I have it linked down below in the description box of this video. When you shop my links, you help out my channel, so if you're interested in getting it, please shop my link down there. If you haven't seen my review video on this palette yet, I loved it, okay? But there are a couple of things that now that I've used it a bunch more, I want to touch on. Um, I do wish that this color and this one were not as close to one another. They are different in undertone um, and the colors are slightly different, but used on like the crease of your eye, once you intensify it with this brown right here, they look kind of similar to one another and so I do wish that one of these mattes was a completely different color because that would open up a window of opportunity for like completely different eye looks. Besides that there was a swatch comparison that I wanted to do because a lot of you guys pointed out that this color right here which is my favorite color from the palette is similar to a color that I've spoken about before that I love. So this one is VR Sextasy from Pat McGrath which I'm going to swatch right here. And the color that I wanted to compare it to, and I haven't done this myself yet, so it's going to be live, I guess. <laughs> the color that I wanted to compare it to is this color down here. So this palette is the Gila palette, which is an Angelica Nikvis and Odin's Eye collaboration. I love, love, love this palette, but the main reason that I love this palette is this bottom row. And one of the main reasons in this bottom row that I love this palette is this shade right here. So this one is called River and we are going to swatch it right here next to the Pat McGrath one. If you look at them straight up like this one, you can see that the colors look very, very similar. They both have a really amazing amount of shine. They have this silvery blue undertone to them, but they are different in undertone. So this one up here is the Pat McGrath one. This one down here is the Odin's Eye one. And as you can see, this one has a warmer, more red undertone. This one has more of like a blue purple type of undertone. Both colors are absolutely stunning. And take a look at the pigmentation and the shine that these Odin's Eyes palettes have. We are comparing this Odin's Eye eyeshadow to a Blitz Astral shade from Pat McGrath. And as you can see on camera, they look pretty much just as shiny, which blows my mind. I had never compared those two formulas, but I have been telling you guys about Odin's Eyes and their amazing shimmer formulas for months, if not years at this point. Um, so this is another proof that like Odin's Eyes eyeshadows are amazing. And you don't pay the Pat McGrath price for these for sure. Anyways, I just wanted to let you know that if you have the Gila palette and you've been lusting over the Pat McGrath palette specifically because of that amazing shade, you might already have something very, very similar in your collection. Okay, so before we start the looks, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you like it. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Go ahead and subscribe right there. I do five looks one palette videos on all of the most popular palettes that come out. So if you like this video, don't leave without subscribing. And let's just get started. Let's begin look number one. I have concealer all over my eyelid and I'm going to grab the color Extreme Nocturne, which is this really beautiful cool tone brown. And I'm going to tap that color on the crease of my eye using a refer number 15 brush. And I'm doing the outer V area back here, tapping it first. And once the color is placed where I want it, with that same brush, I'm going to start doing back and forth wiping motions to blend it out. Still blending over here and I took it all the way in here. I went ahead and with a little bit of a cut and square I cleaned this outer edge back here 
and this is how that is looking. I do want to intensify things a little more, so with the refer number one, I'm going to add some more of that same shade to my outer V area and diffuse it. I've been wanting to use the color Platinum Dusk, so I grabbed it with my refer number 28 brush and I'm going to tap it all over the center of my eyelid here. This is a really beautiful pewter shade and I'm just tapping it in the center. And with that same brush, I grabbed Astral Lilac Aura and I'm tapping it on the inner third of my eyelid, blending it back over the pewter shade ever so slightly, just like this. I wanted to do a true cool tone look no colors, no pinks, no reds, none of that. Just nice, silvery, cool tone eyeshadow look. And that is what we are getting to right here. And then, of course, it has all of the gloriousness of Pat McGrath Astro Blitz shades, which I love because look at how much that shines right there. With my Coal Eyeliner from Pat McGrath, I'm just going to darken up the water lines of my eye both bottom and top by sandwiching the eyeliner in the middle here and i'm going to take a little bit of that right under my lashes just to smudge it so with a refer number three i'm just going to back and forth smudge that black shadow for a little bit more definition all the way in and i'm extending it back here that was a lot of the finishing and it is looking a little bit bottom heavy, but once we put mascara and lashes, of course, that'll look much better. Let me just go ahead and put my complexion makeup on and I'll be right back to finish look number one. Back with makeup on and I'm just smudging this little wing that I did a little more. With the color Extreme Nocturne and my same refer number three brush, I'm going to smudge it a little further. I definitely don't want it to be precise. Okay, still blending it back here. I switched to my refer number one so that it looks even better because I don't want that defined wing that I had. This is where I was aiming. Anyways, you see that I still have my smudged black underneath the eye there with my refer number 13 brush and a little bit more of extreme Nocturne. I'm going to smoke that out back and forth down here and make it meet at the end. Astral Lilac Aura on the inner corner with a refer number 26. And this right here is look number one before I apply my mascara or lashes. Super nice, beautery, all cool toned sort of a look. Let me be right back and show you what it looks like once it's got mascara on. If you just want to use mascara, I want to give you an idea of what the look would be like. And if you want to put some lashes on, then this right here would be the final result. Now, I have to say it was really fun to play with all of the cool tone silvery shades that this palette has. And I definitely wanted to create a look like this, but I'm very excited to play with some of the more colorful shades. So let's just go ahead and move on to look number two. I'm starting look number two with the color Rosewood Romantique and a fluffy refer brush. And I'm just very lightly swiping this shade all around. I just want to have a really nicely blended effect up here and not too much darkness. With a refer number two brush and the color VR Sextasy, I'm going to swipe across my eyelid. I'm adding a little bit more as I go, and I want this to be around three-fourths of the way throughout the eyelid. So I'm covering everything except for the outer corner part of the eye back here. I switch to a refer number 28 brush and the color Astral Lilac Aura. And I'm using that shade on the innermost corner of the eye and bringing it in through the crease. With a small blending brush, this one here is my refer number 14, and a little bit more of the color Rosewood Romantique. I am intensifying the outer V of the eye ever so slightly, and I'm starting to blend that color underneath as well. I'm intensifying Rosewood Romantique underneath the eye with a refer number 3 brush. And back with my ref for number 14, I'm blending it all the way to the tear duct area. For my waterline, I have the Pillow Talk Eyeliner from Charlotte Tilbury. 
And this right here is look number two before I put on any mascara or lashes. So let me be right back with some mascara on and show you what that looks like. I'm back with just some mascara on and you can see what look number two is like just with mascara. But I do want to put on some lashes. So let me go ahead and do that and I'll be right back to show you. Back with a super natural lash on. This one is from Ardell. It's called Foam Mink 817 and it looks really nice. I did trim it to make it a little bit smaller and I love that it looks so natural. It kind of mixed in with my lashes really nicely. And so this right here is the final second look with this palette. I did this one on both eyes. So take a look right here at what that looks like. To begin look number three, I'm grabbing the color Plum Cover Red on a rougher number 15 brush and I am going to go all around the crease of my eye and blend it. I grabbed a super sheer layer of it at first and I'm going to build it up from there. So a little bit more of Plum Cover Red still with my rougher number 15 brush. And I'm doing windshield wiper motions like so. I'm grabbing a little bit more and extending this outer part because I want it to have a lifted effect. I'm grabbing a clean brush. This is a rougher number one and I'm just going to make sure that I don't have any harsh edges right here at the top. And with my rougher number 15, I'm going to continue darkening up the outer V of the eye. I'm also intensifying the inner corner. We are going to do a halo eye. With a refer number 14, I'm intensifying things further. I switched to a smaller brush so that it doesn't blend the dark shade as high. And that is the beauty of Pat McGrath is how you can get one shade to be a transition color, but also a really intense inner and outer corner shade the way this one is performing. In the center of my eye, I'm going to grab the color Bronze Devotion and with the tip of my finger, I'm just going to blend it in the space that we didn't have any color in, a little bit over the other shadow so that they blend nicely into one another. And I'm going to take that past my regular crease because my eye is hooded, so the crease is really low. And I'm going to take it all the way to where I feel my eyeball ends, basically. If you need to, go back with one of your blending brushes and tap over the edge. See how there's a little bit of an edge right here? I'm going to back and forth blend it. And then I'm going to grab the color Blitz Venus and put it over the center of the gold. Just as high, but not as wide. I grabbed a small pointed brush and a little bit more bronze devotion to go around the edges of the Blitz Astral shade. And this right here is the top of the third look. I'm going to do my makeup and I'll be back to finish it up. Actually, before I do that, I'm just going to, with a wipe, clean this outer edge here. To finish up look number three, I'm going to go back with the color Plum Cover Red on a rougher number three brush. And I'm going to smudge it right underneath the outer corner of my under eye, making sure it meets right here at the end with the outer corner back here. And since this is a halo eye, I'm also going to smudge a little bit of that color on the inner part of my under eye, right underneath my tear duct area. I'm going to smoke that out with a refer number 13. Nothing added, I just want it to grab that color and make it a little bit more faded around the edges, just like so. And with a little bit of Blitz Venus, I'm going to touch the center of my under eye. This is the tip of a refer number 28, so a nice small flat brush. Lastly, for the inner corner, I'm using the color Skin Tense Glow, and I'm going to work it in ever so slightly. For my waterline, I want like a rosy brown type of a color and I'm realizing I don't really have that in an eyeliner, I don't think, so I'm going to use a lip liner for my waterline. I did this once because I was traveling and didn't pack an eyeliner with me and it worked perfect. So lip liner in the waterline. Try it at your own risk. I didn't find any issues with it. And this is the color Trendsetter from Charlotte Tilbury. That is exactly the waterline color I was looking for. I love it. So this right here is look number three. I want to go ahead and show you what it looks like with mascara on. This is what it looks like once I applied mascara. And of course, I do want to also show you with some lashes. So let me be right back. And here I am with those lashes. These are Fall Mink lashes from Ardell. 
And this is the final look number three. I really love how beautifully that crease blended. I love the gold in the center with the little bit of the Astro Blitz shade over top of it, that inner corner color that this palette has. The Skin Tense Glow shade is beautiful without being too glittery. This looks really nice. The best is yet to come though, so let's just go ahead and move on to look number four. For look number four, I'm going to once again grab the color Rosewood Romantic on a fluffy brush. This one is a refer number 16, and I'm going to blend it on the crease back and forth with this really nice fluffy brush. A super light layer of this shade will do because I'm going to smoke things up with the brown shade. So Extreme Nocturne is going to be our deeper shade for this look. And I grabbed it on a rough for number one. I'm tapping it on the outer corner and into the crease ever so slightly. I want it to be really nice and smoky back here. So tapping a little bit more before I fully blend it. I grabbed a refer number three just so that I can complete this little edge right here and just make sure everything is nice and intense. So now that I have as much color as I want, I'm going to blend the brown into our transition shade a little bit more by doing little circles with barely any pressure around where I put that color. With a refer number two, I grabbed the color VR Sextasy and I'm going to pat it right here on the edge of the brown, just like this, nice and intense, and then just put it over the brown ever so slightly just to get a smoother transition between the shades. Go back with a bit of the brown if need be, just so that they look nice next to one another. I did that just with my refer number three, which had some leftover brown. And I feel like now we have a smooth-ish transition between those two shades. And then with my same number two brush, I grabbed the color Astro Gold Lust. And I'm going to pack it on the rest of my eyelid. I just love Pat McGrath Blitz Astral Shades so much. Look at how beautiful that looks. I'm leaving a little tiny space for the inner corner shade. And also making sure that my shimmers look good next to each other, that they blend into one another, which I think we got that. For this inner part right here, we are going to use the color Astral Lilac Aura, which is also a stunning, stunning shade. I'm going to lightly blend it into my gold and all the way through the crease right here. Or not all the way, but like halfway through the crease using a flat refer number 28 brush, which is amazing for packing color on tight spaces. I have a makeup wipe and I'm just going to clean this little bit of fallout and also make this edge a little more defined. I think this might be my favorite look that I've done for this video so far. Let me be right back with makeup on my face and we'll finish it up. I love this one. I love the color of my waterline on look number three so much. I want to try a different one for look number four. So this right here is also a lip liner. This one is Worthy from Rare Beauty. And I feel like it's going to give me the perfect nudie pinky shade for my waterline right here. I think it looks a little weird right now because it's a bit too fleshy, but once I smoke out the under eye, it'll look really good. Let's just trust the process. And by the way, I love the way this color is laying on top of the brown back here, so I know exactly what I'm going to do for look number five. With the color Extreme Nocturne on a refer number three brush, I'm going to do the outer third of my under eye. Nice and smoky back here and making sure it meets with the top. With a refer number 13, I'm grabbing the color Rosewood Romantique and we are going to smoke out the rest of my under eye with it. And I'm going to make sure it looks nice and smoky and diffused on this outer side of the eyeshadow look. I am taking that color all the way to the tear duct area. I want to bring a little bit of VR sex to see to the under eye. So with the tip of a refer number 28, I'm just going to tap it in place. And the same thing with Astro Gold Lust. Lastly, Astro Lilac Aura to finish up the inner corner. Okay, take a look right here. I am so impressed with the way that this is looking. I love it. This right here is look number four. 
Again, my favorite one yet for sure. And see how that eyeliner, eyeliner, um, my lip liner on the waterline, it no longer looks weird because it's fleshy. It just kind of perfectly matches that transition color back there, which is kind of what I was going for. Okay, let me stop talking and show you what this looks like with mascara on. Back with my favorite look so far with mascara on. Totally obsessed with the way that this one came out. And of course, I wanna show you it with some lashes as well. So let me be right back. This is it right here with mascara on. And here I am with the lashes on. As I said, my favorite look so far, but I'm very excited for the fifth and final look because like I said, I got some ideas from the way this came out that I think are going to come out looking absolutely stunning so i cannot wait to try them this right here though with the blue little reflex right there and the way everything blends it goes from rosy to gold to like bluish to brown very seamlessly absolutely love the way this came out even that waterline color that we got with the lip liner is incredible by the way when i wore lip liner in my waterline that one time that i didn't have eyeliner with me it wore just as long as eyeliner would so just in case you want to you know repurpose some lip liners you have a way to do so <laughs> let's go ahead and move on to the fifth and final look welcome to look number five and with this one you have to trust the process because it definitely looked very questionable before it became fire so trust the process with this one and i am once again going to start with the shade rosewood romantique because after doing a few looks i think rosewood romantique blends out to be my favorite transitiony type of color so with a very fluffy brush this one is my refer number 16 i'm going to blend it out on my crease as much as possible i just want a super faint layer of it so that it works nicely as a transition shade for the second step, I'm grabbing my refer number one brush and the color Extreme Nocturne. And I'm going to start tapping this color on the eyelid, all over the eyelid. Once I don't really have much on the brush, I'm going to do little circles to blend the brown into our transition shade. Just back and forth with my refer number one brush. And see, I told you it looks questionable at first, but just trust the process here. <laughs> I feel like we have a nice blend up here now, so back with more of that same color, we are going to cover the whole eyelid. Make it nice and brown, all the way to the lashes. And by the way, I am wearing some leftover mascara from the previous looks. We are going to turn this look from questionable to majestic using the color VR Sextasy. And I just have it on my finger and I'm going to tap it all over my eyelid, just like this. When I did look number four, I definitely noticed how a dark shadow underneath this color transformed it so beautifully. So I definitely wanted to just go ahead and do brown all over the eyelid so I could pop this color on top of it. And I have zero regrets. It looks so good. So I am just stamping that color all throughout my eyelid. I'm going to perfect this outer edge with a makeup wipe. And then with a refer number 28, I'm going to grab the color Skin Tense Glow and use it on the inner corner of my eye, blending it in ever so slightly. And I'm using this color as a base for our next color. So with that same brush, I grabbed Astro Lilac Aura and we are going to make this inner corner a little bit more sparkly. Take a look right here. I'm obsessed with the way this is looking so far, but it'll probably get even better. So let me go ahead and put my foundation on and I'll be right back to finish it up. Back with makeup on and with my refer number three brush and the color Extreme Nocturne, I'm going to darken up the outer corner of the under eye down here. Just a teeny tiny pencil brush and we're doing the outer third. And then with the color Rosewood Romantique on the tip of a refer number 13, which is a teeny tiny blending brush, I'm going to smoke it all out. Oh, I forgot to tell you, I went ahead and used a brown eyeliner from Glossier in my waterline. And with the, a tip of a small flat brush, this one's my refer number 28, I'm going to use the color VR Sextasy right underneath the eye here kind of all across. I'm going to intensify my inner corner shades by layering them once again. So first I did 
Skin Tense Glow, and now I'm doing Astro Lilac Aura. And this right here is look number five with mascara on already, because I never took it off. Let me be right back with some lashes to show you the final look. Back with some lashes on, and this right here is the final fifth look. I really love how the color VR Sexy looks on top of a dark base, in this case, the dark matte brown that the palette has. It definitely gives this shade a whole different vibe. It makes the silver and the blue in it stand out like crazy. And this is definitely one of my favorite looks that I've created with this palette. Although I have to admit, every time I use VR Sexy in a look, I am in love with the way it turns out. I did do this one on both eyes and I'm obsessed with how beautiful and smoky this looks. I love you guys so much. If you guys liked today's video, don't forget to please give it a thumbs up. If you're new to my channel and you like this 5 looks 1 palette video, don't forget to subscribe before you leave. I love you guys so, 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 so much. I almost forgot to tell you my favorite look. My favorite look was look number four. I love this one. I'm obsessed with this one. This would definitely be my second favorite, but number four was just chef's kiss, okay? Look number four was my favorite. I love you. Thank you for watching, and I hope to see you back in the next video. Bye.